Hey there, this is Laquita with QuitaBugHandmaids.com and thank you so much for joining me today for another Stampin' Up! tutorial. I am really excited to bring you another project today. I think you guys are going to really enjoy um, the idea that I have for you. And we are using the Lift Me Up bundle from the 2017 Occasions catalog. I just got this in the mail last week and this is my first project um, using it that I'm going to share with you today. And I love this set. Love it, love it, love it. So you get 16 different stamps in the stamp set and then there are also coordinating dies. This is the, I think it's called Up and Away uh, die set. And again, some really great images um, that are really great framelits that you can use to cut out some of the different images. And then you've also got this more detailed hot air balloon that you can cut out. Love this set. So definitely one to consider adding to your collection. Today I'm also using two items from Celebration. I am using the Carried Away Designer Series paper, which was from the first Celebration release. Um, so we're using some of that today, and then we're also using the 6x6 Glimmer paper, which was in the second release during Celebration. And let me just show you, if you have not gotten this, you guys, it is absolutely gorgeous. You get four six by six sheets in three different colors. So you have mint macaron, then you have, this is actually a retiring in color. Um, then you have Sweet Sugar Plum, which is one of our new in colors. And then you have Bermuda Bay. And oh my gosh, this stuff, it's, it's absolutely beautiful. So if you have not gotten this yet, I would recommend placing your $50 order today so that you can get your free glimmer paper. This is awesome. And just remember, we only have a couple of weeks left of celebration. And right now, all of the celebration products are while supplies last. And we're already sold out of the gold card tin. So if there's anything that you have had your eyes on and you really, really want, I would go ahead and grab those things now, you guys. So here's the project that I'm gonna show you how to make today. This is a gift card holder. And all you do is you've got this little pull tab that you can use, but you just pull out your little insert and you've got a holder inside of a holder that you can then put inside of an envelope so cool I love this so I'm excited to share with you how I created this little gift card holder I've also got another design here um, this one's really fun using more of the um, the Knight of Navy that's featured in the carried away designer series paper so you just pull that out and there you go you've got a perfect little gift card holder inside of this fun little pouch and you've got your little pull tab here using some ribbon and then you can just add this right inside of your handmade envelope look at how cute so let's go ahead and get started and i will share with you guys how to make this fun gift card holder so to get started making this gift card holder you want to take one of our medium whisper white envelopes and you want to cut it in half and i'll have the measurement on the screen for you guys of where to cut it but you just cut it in half and then you've got two pieces to make two gift card holders so i'm just going to flip this over i'm going to take some of my liquid glue and i'm just going to add a little bit of liquid glue here and seal up this envelope Okay, just like that and then I'll also go ahead and seal up this one in case I want to make another one so now you've got this fun little pouch um, that will hold our gift card insert inside okay so we're gonna go ahead and do some stamping so I've got a piece of watermelon wonder card stock here some mint macaron and also some whisper white I'm gonna start with my piece of whisper white and I'm gonna bring in my peekaboo peach ink pad and we're going to stamp the sentiment, hope your day is on cloud nine, happy birthday. So I'm just going to ink that up and I want to center this and then stamp. Just like that. Okay, we can set that to the side and I'm going to bring in my mint macaron and my ink pad. And we're going to go ahead and stamp the hot air balloon, the large one. And just stamp that right here just like that we can set that to the side and then bring in the watermelon wonder along with the ink pad and I'm gonna stamp the small hot air balloon just like that 
Okay, so I've got my big shot here. We're gonna go ahead and do our die cutting. I've got my um, magnetic platform, one cutting plate. I'm gonna bring in my two hot air balloons. Now I've got my framelits here. I'm just gonna take off the balloons and we will just add them on top here so we can cut these out. Okay, I've got my framelits all lined up. I'm gonna put another cutting pad right on top and I'm gonna run this through. Okay, so I've got my platform back down and we're gonna go ahead and cut out um, our mint macaron glimmer and then also a scrap piece of whisper white cardstock. This is just the regular whisper white, not the thick. And then I've got a scallop circle as well as a regular circle um, from the layering circle framelits. And I'm gonna use the scallop on my glimmer and then I'm going to use the plain circle on my whisper white. I've got another cutting pad here and I'm gonna run this through. All right, so we've got all of our die cut pieces here. I'm gonna go ahead and adhere my Whisper White Circle to my piece of Mint Macaron Glimmer. And I'm gonna use my Fast Fuse for that. And I'm going to be pretty generous um, just since this is going on Glimmer. I wanna be sure that it sticks really well. Okay, so I've got that adhered down. Now I'm gonna add my hot air balloons onto this layer. And I want the mint balloon up higher than the watermelon wonder balloon. So I think I want them right about there. So I'm just gonna adhere these down using Fast Fuse. Now I've got my sentiment along with my triple banner punch and I'm going to flip this over and I want to banner the ends of my sentiment here. So I'm just going to slide this in right to the edge and give it a punch so that I've got a nice bannered end. I'm going to do that to the other side, slide this in and give it a punch. Okay, so now I've got my envelope along with a strip of designer series paper from that carried away designer series paper stack. And this is cut at an inch and a half by 12 inches. I want this to wrap around like a belly band on my little um, pouch here. So what I'm gonna do is just center that down. I think that's, I think that's in the center. I'm gonna bring in my scoring tool and I am just going to score right at the edge of the envelope, make my own score lines here. And now that I've scored those sides, now I can just flip this over, fold my flaps back, use my bone folder and just give them a crease. Do this side as well. And this will just help make my belly band fit just right around my envelope. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and put some adhesive on this flap using my Fast Fuse. Just like that. Okay, and now we've got our little belly band on there. So cute. Now we can go ahead and add our decorative layer here right in the center. And I'm only gonna put Fast Fuse on the center of this piece. I don't want it to stick to the actual pouch. I just want it to stick to the belly band. All right, so I'm just gonna give that a press. Okay, so we've got that on there. Now I'm gonna just add some dimensionals to the back of my sentiment here. And I'm gonna do three in the center. There we go, this is looking so cute, I love this. 
Okay, so now I've got two pieces of cardstock. I've got some Peekaboo Peach. Um, this is cut at three inches by four and a quarter, and then I've got a piece of Whisper White that will layer on top, and this is cut at two and three quarter, two and three quarter inches by four inches. So I'm just gonna adhere this down with Fast Fuse. Okay, so now I've got those two pieces adhered together, and I'm gonna bring in another strip of the uh, designer series paper uh, from the Carried Away Designer Series paper stack. This is cut at the same measurements um, as the belly band, but this time I'm gonna flip it over and do the opposite side of the pattern, and I just wanna adhere this down to the bottom of my gift card insert, and I'm going to hold it on here like this flip it over and I want to cut it down to fit perfectly on here. So just use my paper snips to do that. Okay. And I'm going to use my tear and tape adhesive to adhere this onto my gift card insert. Ugh, this stuff is super sticky. I'm just gonna put it all around um, on the three sides, but not up here at the top because I wanna leave it open to slip my gift card inside. All right, so I've got all of my tear and tape strips on there and I'm just gonna go ahead and remove each of these backings and then we can add this down to the bottom of our insert. Okay, so now I've got some of the Watermelon Wonder mini striped ribbon, and I'm just going to add this onto um, the edge here of our insert, and that's gonna be our little pull tab. So what I wanna do, I think about, I think this should be long enough. I'll just take my scissors and snip that off. And I'm gonna use my um, handheld punch by Stampin' Up to adhere this tab on. You can on. use a regular stapler if you don't have the Stampin' Up uh, stapler because this is actually retired now. Okay, so now you could write a little short message right there on your insert and then you could slip your gift card right inside and then you add your little insert inside of your pouch. And there you have this cute little holder. I love it. So now let me show you how to create the envelope um, to fit this gift card and pouch. Okay, so for my envelope, I'm using the envelope punch board along with some more of that carried away designer series paper. The measurements for this envelope are not on the punch board. I had to do a little bit of playing around to come up with these measurements. So this designer series paper is cut at seven by seven inches. And then what we're gonna do is slide it in. I'm gonna take out my little scoring tool here. We're gonna slide it in and we're going to line it up at the three inch mark. We're gonna punch. And then you want to put your scoring tool right in here and you want to score. And make sure you have your paper facing up on the pattern that you want to be on the outside of your envelope. So now we're gonna rotate this around and instead of lining up at three inches, we're gonna line up the foot of the punch tool at the score line that we just made. So I'm gonna line up that foot of my punch tool right here on this score line. So I'm gonna line that up right there. Punch and score. And now I'm going to line it up again with the score line that I just made. Punch, score, rotate it around, line it up one last time. Punch, score. Okay, so now we've got this. Then I'm gonna come over here to the other side of my um, envelope punch board and this is my corner rounder. So I'm just gonna put my corners right inside of here. Punch, and then I've got a nice rounded edge. Okay, so now I'm just bringing in my bone folder and I wanna go ahead and give all of these score lines a nice, tight crease just like that and then I'm going to fold in my two side flaps and fold up the bottom 
and that's going to make my envelope. So I'm just going to add a little bit of fast fuse on the bottom of these side flaps, fold up the bottom, and now my little envelope is ready. And so we can go ahead and slip in our little gift card holder. It fits perfectly inside, and there you go. You have a custom envelope for your gift card holder. Don't you love it? Okay, so now I'm just gonna bring in my other two examples. So here we go. Love this project, you guys. I hope that you enjoyed today's tutorial. Again, remember that celebration, there's only a few days left, so if there are any of the um, free items in the celebration catalogs that you're interested in getting, I would go ahead and place your orders today so that you can be sure to get those items. I have linked both of the celebration flyers over on today's coordinating blog post. I also have all of the measurements for today's project and all of the supplies that I used, and you can order any of these Stampin' Up! supplies by visiting my online store, which is linked on my blog, as well as down below the video in the description notes. So thanks again, and I will see you again real soon. Bye now.